Hello everyone and welcome one more time. As always, you may call me Taf, and I shall be your guide for was enthusiastic, if probably even more lost than you are. We're back once more uh, with Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last part, just a few hours ago, we defeated Whitney and her milk tank. Now, between streams, something amazing did happen, you see. Shadow here was um, so proud of taking on Miltank and winning because we all know that that Miltank is a nightmare for just about every single trainer ever. So Shadow here was so proud at defeating the Miltank that she just hyped herself and became a shiny. Isn't that amazing? Just beautiful. Just beautiful. Shadow, you magnificent creature, you. It's just amazing. So yeah, anyway, we took on uh, Whitney, we won. Uh, nothing new there. Uh, there is one thing though, uh, and that thing is, I have no idea where we are supposed to go next. Just kidding. I know where we are supposed to go, I just don't know what we are supposed to do. So we'll be heading north to the, the bad contest place. Uh, there should be a new place open as well. And then we have to go check out that Sudoruda because now we have a Squirtle uh, water can. No, water can, no. What do we call this thing? Um, the water, the thing to water plants. What's the name of that thing? Um, squid bottle. Sure, that works. So many fights. Let's get it up here. Oh. So. Oh yeah, this thing. Uh, no. Okay. 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 You are good. Right, damn it. There's supposed to be a, again, a super potion somewhere there, but yeah, no. I have no idea what, so whatever. Uh, no headbutt, no, thank you. We're fine. The group's getting right, yeah. So, all the way north. Now, before going south in the previous part, um, we did check out this place, so there's that. And um, there are two things left to explore, I suppose. One would be that thing, but we need surf, so we don't count that. One is that. Danger lurks in the night. You are a police officer. Why are you randomly attacking a teenager? Or, well, a preteen, actually. Roll Okay, uh, return. Not strong enough. We need to raise Alari's happiness a bit more, I suppose. We really do need, however, to get an attack on Shadow, because after getting Confuse Ray, she only has Shadow, uh, Night Shadow, Night Shade, so that's not great. I mean, Confuse Ray is potentially an attack too, up to a point, I suppose, but definitely not good enough. And Curse, I'm thinking we won't ever need again, hopefully, because, you know, Oh, 
Boom! Down goes Growlithe. Beautiful. Whoops. Yeah, that's, um... What? Alaris is evolving! Let's allow that, sure. Nice! Now the thing is... Let's check this out for a second. The thing is... Uh, generation 4... Urdu and generation four. Urdu. Let's see. So attacks that we are missing are basically mirror move, agility, assurance. What the hell is that? Deals damage, and if the target has already taken damage in this turn, its power doubles to 120. If the target has already taken damage in this turn. How does that work? Uh, like with recoil, I suppose? Or in double battles, because poison, burn, and the like goes at the end of the turn, so whatever. Mirror Move, Agility, Assurance, Roost, and Drill Pet. Now, obviously, we want Drill Pet. Now, Spiro would learn that at level 37. Firo, it's level 47, which is not exactly encouraging. Now, the problem is that having Spiro until 37, it would be kind of bad. And Aerial Ace, 60 damage versus Drill Pet, 80 damage. Mm, you know what? Sure, it works. Whatever. It's just good enough, so, yeah, we'll live it like that. Uh, there we go. Okay, so yeah, we have a uh, Firo now, speaking of stats. In I, sure. 48.52. Wow, that's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. Normal flying. Yeah, that sounds alright. Yep. Alright. So, yeah, moving on. And the other thing was that, that we can cut. So let's do it. Hey, Abra. I just remembered we technically need another drowsy, I suppose. Route 36. Uh, what's that? National Park, Ruins of Alf, Right. Route 31. What's that? Exclamation mark. We had a call, I believe, from that guy. So. I'm the flower shop's Floria. Listen, listen, when I sprinkle water on that weekly tree, it jumped right up. It just has to be a Pokemon. If you soaked it... Oh, that's a squirt bottle. Soak the tree for me. I want to see what happens. That's kind of rude, just so you know. But let's do it. If you're not tree, use the squirt bottle... Uh, wait, let's save the game. Doesn't like the squirt bottle. 
attack. Let's do this. Sudowoodo. Let's go, Shadow. We can do this. Nope. Wow, that didn't take long at all. Yeah, that's going to be damaging. Okay. So this, this is rock, I believe. That's why he doesn't like uh, water. But is it also ground? I can't remember. Yeah, let's go use a Ultra Ball. Wait, Great Ball. I suppose. Nice. It disguises itself as a tree to avoid attack. It hits water, so it will disappear if it starts raining. Oh, only rock, okay. So no rock ground, but no rock plant or anything either. Interesting. We are fine. That was fun. I want to give you these for entertaining me. Berry pots. Uh, sure. With the berry pots, you can grow any berry from any region. With no worries. That's right, I'll give you some berries too. Won't do any good without berries. Okay, sure. Catch a berry. Beautiful. You have to plant berries in the soil. You should water them from time to time. They'll grow strong. Right. But... Berry pots. For cultivating berries wherever you go. Okay, so... Oh, so we just plant them here, okay. Plant berry. Uh, so we want that. And that. And that, I suppose. And another one of those, too. Sure. That's handy. Right, yes, rock's nice. Got it. Whatever. Uh. Mm. Wait, I thought this was the guy that wanted... Guess not. Okay, so who wanted the letter that this random Spiro has? Uh, this one? Uh, nope. Well, okay, anyway. Um,
Okay, that's happened. Um, so, anyway, uh, give me a second. So, I'm trying to remember where um, I'm supposed to go with my Spiro. A favor, there we go. The guard in the gate has favored to us, deliver his Spiro's piece of grass mail to the man by the pond on Route 31. 31. To the man by the pond. Oh, so I thought it was another guy. So, like this guy? Oh! Let's see. Thank you for your mail. It was such an exciting adventure. I did not like Zubat, though. That's what it says. I went to a dark cave the other day with a friend. That cave leads to another route. By the way, I must thank you for being so kind. I'd like to do something good in return. I guess. Thank you. TM44 is rest. Press recover fast to get interpreted to rest. You see? I see. Berries, nice. Let's cut the tree and let's go back. So much running around without flying. A shame, really. Shame. Uh, wait, there was. Nope, wrong exit. So, having a Pokémon out of the ball, meaning in the first position, is supposed to increase their happiness or friendship. Uh, but if I'm in a bike, I am not, in fact, having the Pokémon with me. So does that increase happiness? That would be an interesting question. Of course, it's fight. Hey, welcome back, Kamasan. Right, so being in the bike does not increase the friendship. That's what I thought. Well, that's too bad. Okay, let's get off the bike then. Because we need friendship with Alaris here. Hey, that's uh, that's cool. It's not walking anymore. Nice, Piro. Thanks for making the delivery. Uh, HP up, nice. Right, my pal was nursing, right, so sleepy. So yeah, I was mentioning that at the beginning of the of the stream. Uh, so see, Shadow was so proud of having the Philip Whitney's um, meal tank. She was so proud of herself that she hyped herself up, and she became a shiny between streams. It's the the weirdest thing, really. Super amazing. That's... Wow, the world of Pokémon, it's just fantastic, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's just... The damnedest thing, really. Uh, surprising, yeah. Who would have thought, huh? The, the weird things that happened. Yeah, I just uh, decided that for Gengar, the normal sprite doesn't look all that amazing. And I thought I could go for a shiny. Generally, I don't care much. 
I know people who just go for a team full of shinies, but Gengar, he really does look better as a shiny than normal. At least in this generation. So yeah, and this thing is uh, Viola Ref from XY. Fantastic. <laughs> what? <laughs> what I just said? And this thing is open now. Pokéatlon Dome is this way. Please go to the Atom's Gate and do participate in the games. Okay, let's check it out, I suppose. Just when you least expect it, I am camera on the photo. Again, why do you like taking pictures of random 12-year-olds? It's suspicious. There's a cop at the door. A cop who attacked me, but you know. Okay, sure. Whatever. Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday only for the box. Yeah, I know, but we already got the pincer, so... That's fine. I've been waiting for this moment behold my friendship with my Pokémon. I see. What if I can participate too? It's only running with Pokémon, right? Okay. So, the Pokéathlon Dome. What is this? Oh, 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 I did get an item. Um, wait, where is it? Uh, is it here? HP up, yes. Uh, who wants this though? Um, Shadow doesn't need it. Uh, Crimson could be a tiny bit tankier. Shoot, let's go. That works. Yeah, we already got our pincer here because basically pincer is our wayfinder. So yeah, but that's about it. Uh... Hello! Maha! <laughs> hmm... I feel it, the twinkle in your eyes, the twinkle of friendship! You're quite something! Your Fero is quite a Pokémon. It's ready to participate in the Pokéathlon, but... Most of all, your solidarity with untrust on Pokémon makes me believe in infinite potential! Alright, follow me! Uh, my mom told me not to talk to strangers. Just saying. What do you think? This is the Pokéathlon Dome. It does look kind of amazing. It's a sports festival for trainers and Pokémon. Inside the dome are various challenges awaiting trainers and Pokémon to test their friendship. Why don't you try it? Sure, let's do it. Why not? You're amazing, but there's a pleasant surprise. To see a Pokéathlon with strong potential is such a pleasure. I'm glad I held the Pokéathlon here in Jota. My name is Magnus, we shall meet again, but... See you, young Bucky Athlet. Uh, sure. Did your Pokemon World Mom say that, though? I mean, it's a mom. Wouldn't she? Then again, she did allow her 12 year old son to just randomly, you know, wander the world. So, yeah, maybe she doesn't really care either way. It's a good point. Running and jumping, and there are so many events for Pokemon to choose from. Which one should I try? I mean, running and jumping, that's not exactly a lot, you know? There's more to Pokémon than battling. Uh, true, I suppose. Now, there is an item here somewhere. There we go. What? They look so good today, they weren't so well yesterday, but we'll win for sure. You're confident. Me likes that. It improves your Pokémon's performance, or it shines its best with Apple Juice. Okay. Energy Drink. Welcome to Apple Juice Stand. What's that confused about? Look about. You don't know about Apple Juice? No. Take this, Apple Blender, beautiful. Put away the Apple Blender in the Apricorn box. You have the Apple Blender. You can make Apple Juice and let your Pokemon show the true potential. So easy to make, all you have to do is put Apricorns in the Apple Blender. Put as many as you can, the more the merrier then you walk. You can run if you want. 100 steps here, then you open it, give it your Pokemon and drink it yourself. Buy Apple Juice here, what is the train and see how it works. Um, 
Hani işte çok var. Victor Spitius. Anne. Skiolcius. Ne? Power juice. I don't think so either. But... It may go up, it may go down. Are you kidding me? Uh, it may go down? Are you... Are you stupid? Why would I drink roids that may decrease my performance? Well... Sure, let's get one thing. Why not? Which Pokemon? Uh, Alaris? <laughs> Actually, Alaris is pretty much... Wow. How, how do I even read this, anyway? So, in fact, it needs skill or stamina. Skill juice. Let's try. Sure. Uh... Okay, skill. Yeah, sure. So kids don't do drugs, but if it's Pokemon, then it's fine. Performance decreased, fantastic. Skill performance increased. Jump performance increased. Jump? It's a freaking bird. Why would you... I don't... You know what, why? Um, where's the Apri Blender, though? Apri Blender. Hello? Apricorn box. Yeah, no. Is that a normal item? No. No. Um. Oh, there we go. How to make apple juice, collect apricorns and put them in the apple blender. So... Okay. Well, let's see what happens. It's not good at battles, but no Pokemon can beat it at running. Thanks to the walk we take every morning. It's a bird! Why are you making it walk? Each Pokemon has unique traits. True Poggy Adelaide notes them and lets the true performance of these her Pokemon emerge. Sure. We heard the Vapor Juice, Pokemon can increase the performance with food and drink. Okay. Alright. So let's check the building. Except there's an item here, so... Boom. Nice. And... Protein is... Attack. So we want attack for Alaris, really, but you know what? Crimson can do it. Okay, let's check out what's inside the building. Save the game too. That's kind of dark.
So they have 10 events. Okay. Sure. Jump a thousand times. Okay. Wow. Okay, anything else? Five Pokemon course, courses. Didn't they, they just say ten? Speed, power, stamina, jump, and skill. So they work in teams too, okay. Capricorn, Moo Moo Meal. May cause the, flaw, the foe to flinch when the holder inflicts damage. 3000, that's expensive. Welcome! points, so I guess not. So you! Hi noobs, are you here for the Pokeathlon? Me too! Some been so excited since construction, it is close to Goldenrod City, you know? Sure. Huh? Were you going to participate in the Pokeathlon looking like that? You're not prepared at all, are you? So are you a medium or a small? You look more like a medium. Okay, I'll get your jersey that suits you. You want to look your best if you're going to participate in the Poppy Athlon, don't you? Wait right here. Yeah. Okay. And she's back. This is just right for you. You look perfect. Now that you're ready, I will... No, where are my Pokémon? You go back, see ya. What is wrong with this chick? Okay, so we got a jersey. Is that an actual thing? No, it's not. Good. Well, this is the reception for mission. We'll try the Pokeathlon. Uh, info. God damn it. You and three Pokemon compete in three events. Mm. You know what? Let's go with power. Join. Ah, uh, power. Sure. Yes. Okay. We are looking quite dashy, although not having the cap seems kind of. So we were doing power, which was a bad idea, apparently. Um. Now, my question would be, what's better? Two brown stars or one normal star? Uh, altogether, I think Shadow is better. So... Let's try that. See what happens. Welcome to the Pokéathlon. Today's event, the Power Course. Who will shine brightest today? Let's meet the competitors. When you fight a true warrior, victory is within your grasp. Is that so? Alari, Crimson, and Shadow. Power is strength. Strength is power. I'll use that power to climb to the top.
Let's fuck you at one. Sure. Event one, let's do it. Block smash. Break lots of blocks. Um, touch the blocks to strike. To switch to the next Pokemon. Block Smash is simply an event where you smash blocks, switch out all your Pokémon. As each becomes tired, you receive points according to how many blocks you smash. Uh, okay, let's try that, I suppose. Where's the switch button? Okay, there we go. Oh, okay, that happened. That antler is... wow. Well... Not quite good enough. Also, I'm going to destroy my mouse by doing this, so... Oh, we are last. Okay, we can we can still make a comeback. Come on, circle push. Get in the circle. Use the stylus to move your Pokemon around. Control three Pokemon at once. Circle pushes in the way where you push your opponent. If you're inside the circle after the timer has run out, you're awarded points. I don't see how this works, but okay. I'm not even sure what's going on. Wait, where's my Firo? Wow, okay! They... we... We can push people away? Okay. That's interesting. Oh, wait. Okay. Where's the time, though? Hey, that's not fair. I was out. Okay, that was kind of annoying. And I'm last again. Fantastic. Absolutely fantabulous. Control three Pokemon. Again, sure. Flick quickly to dash. Okay. In goal roll, you try to get the ball into your opponent's goal. It doesn't matter which of their goals to earn points. Okay. Mm. So we want Shadow to be on the fence. No, Kilava! No! Why am I warding someone else's? Okay, let's go! Let's go! No! Why are you doing this? Come on, Crimson! No! Oh, come on, that's not 
fair. Come on. That works. Go. So, well, that was my first. No! No! Hey, you stole that ball, you stupid. Okay, there's two balls now, beautiful. Okay, okay, not cool, not cool. And I'm guarding an enemy goal again, fantastic. Like, can I not? No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. Well, uh, zero points, so there's that. Uh... And yes, life's not fair, definitely. Well, we lost every single time. That sucks. Great job, athletes. The YouTube points for me, why? Team Noobs Crimson, no miss? What? Yeah, of course I lose, but... Wow, okay. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I was dead last, then. Me. Well, Team Holden wins. Yeah, uh, let's not do that again. Joking aside, I am going to destroy my... Uh, Mouse if I have to keep clicking like that, so yeah. So we got points. There's that. Um, well, that was something, I suppose. I'm not gonna say it was fun, I'm not gonna say it was not, but... Yeah, I don't know. Okay, anyway. Moving on, we go to the National Park now. And there's items to be found. So there's that. And trainers. Trainers to be found too. It's fun having a Pokemon out if it's possible to walk with it, but the Pokemon Walker is a whole new dimension. Is that so? My mom can't take my Pokemon and tells me not to play with it indoors. But hey, I can keep it in my Pokemon Walker, that way it was with it. Uh, sure. Just when you least expect it. Oh, for God's sake! No! Are you everywhere? Pay attention, please. Whoops, I have to be thinking like a teacher all the time. But you're Pokemon trainer. You're working so hard, I want you to have this. Quick law! Nice! Sometimes it will strike first. So let's give that to Topaz, because Topaz is basically... Uh... Slow. So there's that. Almost everywhere. Fantastic. But does he actually do something, like... Does that serve a purpose? Mm. Only for fun. Beautiful. I take walks in the park, but I never go into the grass. Trainers always want to battle. That's a fair point, sure. I 
And again, there is an item here somewhere, so... The question is, are we going to find it? Does this game have an item finder? You know, Kamasan? It does. Uh, relatively soon-ish. Next city, okay. It's like near the small fountain in the south. How about you tell me, you know, north, south, something? Yeah, what? Okay. What is this notice? No ball playing allowed other than portables. Fantastic. Yeah, that's the exit, I know, but... I have many Pokemon workers on me. I don't want to exit the place yet, I want to see what is here. Because there's goodies and stuff. Okay, we have an exit uh, here. And um, there's items... Uh, yeah. We can't scale that. Okay, Sooth Bell. That's one. And we want that um, on... Makes it friendly. We want that on Alaris. Okay, that's good. For now, anyway. What else? Thick. Beautiful. So, two full heals. One is hidden somewhere here. No, no head. Damn it. There we go. And I'm missing one that's supposed to be near the fountain, but I've no idea, so whatever. I mean, I'm not that desperate, so... But, there's trainers to find now, so yeah. Hi! Whether a Pokemon, even if they dislike this, that's what being a Pokefan is all about. I see. Raichu? Okay. That is not a good combination. Um. Big attack. Okay. No static, please. Beautiful. My Pokemon! Yee. Yeah. I'll just battle my Pokemon win the prize for being the most lucky. Uh, sure. But hoot! Hello, why you're staring at me? Uh, I wasn't. So, Kamasan, do you have any plans for this coming week? Hey, Skiller! Well, it's not really a grind. We're just... Well, actually, it kind of is, because they basically go down in one hit, but for sure. What about you? Steep, still uh, with your blocks? One more block, one more block. Cubone, um... How do we deal with that? Not Topaz, definitely. Uh, Shadow, I suppose. Got 
that puts your first item problems go back to block. What's your... Um, I'll say it. Project right now. You finished the zombie farmer. What's next? That's not a lot of confusion damage. Oh, 2 HP. I can't believe it. We got back 2 HP. That's just fantastic. First time that's ever happened. So close. And down it goes. How we change phone numbers? Why are all these chicks hitting on me? This 12 year old got way more game than I do. I guess that happens when you're a Pokemon master, but... Only one Pokemon can stroll with you in a Poké Walker. I can decide which one. Uh, okay. Hi! My Pokemon is simply darling. Let me tell you how proud my darling makes me. Uh, sure. After that, there's only one more trainer, I think. While I eat, I will probably start my XP farm and get levels in the meantime. Sounds like a plan. Oh, that was so close. I can beat on your pride, but... Let me secure that adorable. You love Pokemon just like I do. Sure. Why do I keep getting phone numbers from random people? I should stop. To be honest, I want a Mario, but I make do with my kids' novel. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, Snubble, you're the cutest Pokemon ever, really. That was kind of rude, woman. Hello? Oh, hey, Nims, how are you? I found a useful item while shopping, so I bought it with your money. Sorry! The hell, woman? Yeah, so, she already called to say that? Is that two items now, or what? Or did I miss the first one for not going to pick it up? That would kind of not be cool. World is there are still lots of things we don't know, but I know more than you do. Uh, okay. Down it goes. Voltorb. Ah, uh, yes, we can do that. Shadow, you're up. You know, the damnedest thing happens, Killer. Uh, we defeated um, Whitney's Milk Tank, you know, and in between streams, Shadow was just so proud of having defeated Milk Tank that she hyped herself and became a shiny. It was just amazing, really. It's, you know, one of those things that happens and, you know, wow. So, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what happened, of course, you know, it's 
The damnedest thing, I told you. Just, um... I mean, Shadow, she's the MVP of this run. Much like Ruby was the MVP of the previous one. This time it falls to Shadow, so yeah, she was just psyching herself up. And she became a shiny, so yeah. So what really did happen? What, you don't believe me that she psyched herself up? What's wrong with you? Why do you not believe me? So basically, um, the other day I was with Artine and we were uh, discussing the sprites of the Pokemon. And I do realize that Gengar, for whatever reason, does actually look more gengar E, so to speak, as a shiny than as a normal Pokemon. Uh, at least with... in this generation. So yeah, I just used the safe editor to make it a shiny. Of course it's not possible. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I just... I used a safe editor. I normally don't use it much, not for nothing important, definitely. But, for example, for the natures, so that I don't have to capture something 70 million times, I just assign the uh, the natures myself. And I decided to make uh, Shadow a, a shiny, because Gengar will look better. And I mean, it's Gengar. Come on, it's my favorite Pokémon, so... As mentioned, I don't abuse it. I don't get infinite uh, money, I don't get uh, infinite TMs, I don't get solar beam at level at level two if i can't get it myself i am not doing it but a shiny gangler is just it's just cool come on shiny eevee uh you do remember i did find a shiny espion in the last playthrough it was kind of um ugly so to speak i seen Alien green. Really ugly. Kadabra. Uh Espinal Jolteon are cycling of Skelly. Yep. And it was, you know. Uh no, not Shadow. Actually, no, Alaris, you stay up there. Um <laughs> it was an enemy that had that shiny Espion. And I was left wondering. Is it possible for captured enemy Pokémon to randomly be shiny? Or was it a scripted shiny Pokémon somehow? Like the Red Gyarados, so to speak. You know? I kind of was curious. Scripted. Wait, Eevee. I don't know if I've seen shiny Eevee. Let's see. Eevee. Um, let me check that out. Isn't it just like pale? Grayish, silverish. Yeah, sounds. That's about right. Umbreon does look nice. It is just. In my opinion, he looks kind of sick. Like, yeah, really pale, colorless, even. It's definitely amazing, but uh, he looks sick, in my opinion. Jolteon, yeah. Uh, so, e Espeon, at least Espeon is alien green. Jolteon is just puke green, so definitely not cool. It reminds me of shiny Firo. Not a good thing. Umbreon does look nice. He really does. Vaporeon could be nice, I guess. It makes sense that Vaporeon would be um, blue because water, but that purple looks kind of nice, I think. I like more in normal. Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I did go through that phase myself of wanting a full team of shinies when I was like 10 years old. And I used Game Sharks to get every single shiny Pokemon simply because shiny. 
But then you grow up and you realize that some are actually ugly, so yeah. Okay, so we're here. Um, so again, there's supposed to be a hidden item in one of the trees. What? This guy sometimes doesn't make much sense. I can probably prepare for any Pokemon adversary. Let's put that to the test, shall we? Tanjo, you're going down. Alaris, Aerial Ace. Yeah, I think it's similar to, to Eevee. It's just the same color, but either more pale or in some areas maybe a bit more yeah bright red as opposed to orange but it's not exactly noticeable i don't think i'm no expert but it definitely doesn't jump at you was my prediction incorrect yes it was when i'm reading textbooks i'm walking i have to look down so i notice items on the ground next time i find something i'll give it to you Okay, so basically, the, the lesson that this game is teaching us is if you beat up random kids, they will give you stuff. Which is not a good lesson to teach kids. Because bullies are a thing, you know? I don't want to head bad the tree, I want to find the one that has an awakening or something. Well, we have the Hyper Potion, and yeah, there's supposed to be an Awakening here somewhere, but whatever. I'll wait until the item finder, I suppose. Trainer Tips. The move D can take you back to the entrance when you use it. Oh, 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 right. I have D. Right. Let's check that out. D. Um... Well, Quilava, or rather Crimson, you have a new move. Yes. Now we can take on Poison and a uh, Ground Pokemon, I suppose. Wait, not Ground. What was Ground good against? Let me check that. Ground was good against Fire, Electric, Poison, Rock. There we go, Rock. Rock and Steel. Wow, okay. Uh, so, that's to shame, that's a shame, steel mm, is only weak to fire, ground, and fighting, and both of them will be on crimson, but that's fine. That's okay. Right. Mm. Still fight that silver EV more just like with Charizard, just so freaking simple. I mean, at least Charizard is, Charizard is... A different color palette, you know? Bullies exist because of Pokemon. That's not what I said. I said that since bullies are a thing that exists, and yes, I did just call them thin. Bite me. Since they are a thing that exists, having a game that teaches you that beating up kids gives you or gets you random goodies might not be the best idea. Might. I'm no expert, but you know. They are bullies, I refuse to call them people, they are things. Okay, Route 37. Um, let's check it out. Hi! Pokemon can't do a thing if they are asleep. I'll show you how scary that is. Okay, what do you have? Drowsy. That makes sense. Um... Return. No, wait. I had Pursuit. Also, Drowsy looks kind of... You know, crazy. 
Those eyes. Not good. And okay. I lost the screen, sad. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I, I guess it is. Walt! Hi! How are you? So, this is Walt. How are you? Do you like drowsy? As for me, they're alright. Uh, it's just so random. I mean. So random. Speaking of, uh, speed juice. Okay. Wait, I can put even more. Unspeakably incredible flavor. It tastes are evenly balanced. I can't tell what kind of flavor. It doesn't look good exactly, but sure. Okay, well, thanks for keeping me company, Skiller. I forgot to say bon appetit, by the way, so I hope it was good. Happy mining! Sunny of the Sunday should be around here. Are you Sunny? Yes, hi, I'm Sunny of Sunday, meaning it's Sunday today. Magnet. What does that do? That thing, um, what was it now? I remember now, Pokemon that those electric type moves should hold it. Okay, that makes sense. I do have kind of an issue now, though. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, well, it's not an issue, but I did give Topaz the Quick Claw for random first strikes, but... Yeah, it's not an issue. Not, not an issue. Wrong word. It's just, since Topaz is so slow, I gave him the Quick Claw for random first attacks. Uh, so do I keep the Quick Claw or do I go for the Magnet? Uh, I mean, I'm never using Tackle, so basically the main attack is Candy Shot, so... And it's weak, so yeah. Let's let's uh, keep the quick law. Uh, yeah, should probably a good good idea. He's doing fine, I suppose. At least for now. All right, down we go. Is that a double battle? I think it is a double. Battle. Um. Who do we have? Mm, Alaris, uh, you know what? No, wait. wait. Shadow and Topaz. Let's go. Let's battle. All right, I'm bringing out a Pokemon. Let's do it, children. Fun fact, we can get a Vulpix here, but we are not using Fire Pokemon this time either. So, there's that. Hello! Alright, so Confuse Ray... Uh... Yeah, I don't think... No. Okay, so Merit... And you... No. So Merit. Ninestall would still be awesome. I suppose so, yes. I'm... Personally, I'm... Uh, partial to Arcanine myself, which is in the other game. But, uh, yeah, we are not using a Fire-type this game either. Sorry, maybe in Hoenn. Fantastic. Nightshade and... Uh, Tackle, I guess. So close. Boo! 
Boom! Level up! Yeah, you lost, children. That's fine. Ruby Sapphire Emerald. Uh, I'll probably do the remake. So, Alpha Sapphire Omega Ruby. Definitely not Emerald. Well, definitely. Probably. Uh, if I have some issues with the 3DS, I might have to do Emerald, but the idea is the remake. But if you do that, I will do that. It's a promise. I don't know when. Basically, when I finish Johto. But I will do that. So yeah, uh, you will see it in the Discord as well, because I'll announce it. Uh, I want a Pokemon named after me. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, but, okay. Tell me something. Um, Emerald has extra stuff compared to Ruby and Sapphire. Just like, say, Crystal had extra stuff compared to... Uh, gold and silver. But the question is, once you get Alpha Sapphire or Omega Ruby, doesn't that have the same stuff as Emerald? Like Rayquaza, for example. Yeah, but... So, Emerald has stuff that Omega Ruby doesn't have? Rayquaza is in the remake, right? The Battle Frontier, okay. What was that? Remind me, is that the Elite Four or something? You know, this could be another double battle. You're a cute little trainer, why don't you battle me? Okay, there we go. It is a double battle. Nice. Hey there, you young trainer. Won't you battle with me? Good. Rayquaza is in... in... Wait, Rayquaza was in the original Ruby and Sapphire? Really? Hello! Those are evolved. Okay. That's going to be a pain. Um, actually, you know what? Uh, let's switch that. Uh, Crimson, you're up. And it's up to the elite for an extra song with a few buildings where you battle and can't get emblems. Okay, so it's not the Elite Four. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm kind of uh, foggy on the details of all that stuff. So it's not the it's not multiplayer either. It's part of the game actually. And core, I can live with that. Sure. Hi. Okay. Uh... Wait, smoke screens affects everyone, even Topaz. Is that it? No. No, never mind. It doesn't affect everyone. Uh, Topaz. Also in Emerald, the egg team leader is the champ, and you can fight Troy. So you can fight Troy much like you can fight Red here in in this in Giotto, but you can't fight him in Omega Ruby. Okay, so he's the champ, and you can't fight him in the extra area, is the point. Well, I didn't know about all those differences. Um, I still have to say, though, I do not want to go back to Gen 3 mechanics. The physical special split, it's kind of annoying. Also, how long does Nicor last, for God's sake?
Fuck them. Okay, that's decent. Well, anyway, um, I'll see about it. I still say it will probably be... Um, it will probably be the remakes. But I'll have to check if I may have issues with emulator or not. There's a chance that it's emerald. Regardless, uh, what you said... Um, about you wanting a Pokemon named after you or your idea or whatever um where was it yeah named after you uh i no problem naming a pokemon after you as long as it's pg-13 and whatever of course uh but but i do want to choose the team generally speaking so oh now i can make fantastic so, my point is, if you want to say, I want you to name someone, I don't know, Rocky, sure, we can do that. If you tell me, I want you to name a golem Rocky, and use golem, um, I don't really like golem, if you get my point. I mean, I could do a channel challenge, I suppose, if you want to spend your tinubes, speaking of, we were before. Uh, we could do that, and I could use a Pokemon chosen by the viewers, I guess, but... Gardevoir named skills. Um... Why do I feel like I should see the joke there? Just to be safe? Okay, Gardevoir! By default, Gardevoir is, um... Okay, why skills? I don't mind the name, but why skills? Hello, Stambler! Oh! Literally named after you. Oh, okay, okay. That's right. That's innocent enough, sure. Okay, okay, okay. Um, you know, it's just it's just a safety measure. When Gardevoir is uh mentioned, any prudent person questions the reasons, because you know, Gardevoir. So yeah. Um, my first instinct was, okay, Gardevoir and skills, um, really? What do you mean, really? Come on. You do know you're not supposed to Google Gardevoir, right? Ow. Yeah, there's no problem with liking Gardevoir. The problem, if anything, is that everyone likes Gardevoir. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's why... <laughs> there we go. So, um, when you go first... Okay, so the Pokemon I wanted was Gardevoir. Hmm... And then you say, and her name is Skills. Hmm... Okay, so, you know, I'm just being... Um... I'm just being careful, so to speak. But yeah, Skills, short for Skiller Lady, one, sure. Yeah, that makes sense, why not? Um, God damn it, Standler. Gardevoir. I guess I could do that. I do like psychic types. Gardevoir is not my favorite. Memes aside, of course. Uh, I'd probably go for Alagazam, if anything. But I could do that. Why not? Sure. Yeah, I could do that. No promises yet. I want to check what my team would look like. So, no promises yet. But 
I'll keep that in mind. Make sure to remind me in the future, I promise. Like really, remind me. I don't want to forget. I'm not saying I will do it either, but I don't want to forget about it. Whoops. I clicked outside of the window. If I don't forget myself, well, you're the one that's interested in it, so, you know. If you do forget yourself, then... Absol or Agron? Um, you know, Absol I liked when I was a kid. I don't know why, but I did like him. But I don't know if it's actually good or not. Agron, uh, what was his type? Steel and what else? Rock? I think Agron is times four weak to fighting, which is not something I'm... I'm not a fan of any type combination that's times four weakness. In fact, it's times four weak to fighting and ground, which is less than ideal. Uh, moreover, it's an amazing physical tank, but... I mean, super slow, only decent attack. Um, still rock. One quarter normal and fly, sure, but four times fight ground. Ugh, I do not like that. We could do that, though. We, we could do that, I suppose. Could be interesting. Well, water is only times two, in fact. So the problem is not water. The problem is fighting or ground because it's times four. Now, if this was... Here's the thing. Okay, here's... The, I think this is your problem. If we were talking generation three, physical special split, fighting and ground are physical. So even though he's four times weak, since his physical def defense is massive, he might be able to survive. Whereas water, it's only times two, but his special defense is bad, so it wrecks him. I think that's your train of thought. But that's Gen 3. After Gen 3, all moves can be both special or physical, regardless of type. Which means it can get hit by a special fighting attack, and that's weak times four with bad special defense. So it's not water that will destroy them. It's fighting on ground. So that's the problem. Those who stare at its antlers will gradually lose control of their senses and be unable to stand. Fantastic. I wasted way too many Pokeballs from that thing. Just for reference. Still, most water attacks are special and most fighting attacks are physical. That's a fair point. Not all of them, but most of them. I can relate to that, sure. Hydro Pump is special. Earthquake, uh, rather... Um, uh, Karate Shop, for example, I think is physical, sure. But, you know, uh, Focus Blast is special. Topaz is dead. I forgot about that. Protect City, nice. So we need Hello Bill. Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Noobs, huh? You know what? I'm the one who developed the system transfer Pokemon. Congratulations. But it couldn't have been done by me alone. For example, you know the Hoenn region? This girl, Lynette from Hoenn, made the Pokemon storage system easier to use. My friends all over the world are working together to improve the Pokemon trade and storage systems. I have to hurry on back to Golden Rod to see my fox. Goodbye. Uh, sure. Morty the gym leader is so cool. These Pokemon are really tough, though, too. Fantastic. 
Kimono girls are so pretty. Um, the way that Kimono girls dance and the way they use their Pokemon are both marvelous. Sure. Lake of Rage, the appearance of a red Gyarados. I smell a conspiracy. I know it. Is that so? So I want the item finder. Let me look that up. Soul Server item finder. Um, okay. Yes, let's get out. Let's kill the Pokemon. You know, Gardevoir actually has more stats than Alakazam, which is kind of fun. Uh, it is kind of a shame that it's actually weaker and way slower, but overall it has more stats. That's interesting. Anyway. Right, the monograms, sure. Did I talk to this chick? Uh, yeah, I did. I forgot. Him. Where's the gym? That's the gym. Epidex City, Pokemon Gym Leader Morty, the Mystic Seer of the Future. Okay. Ah, you're an adventure with your Pokemon. Well, that's an adventure without treasure hunting. Am I right or am I right? Yes, you are. Good, you understand the true spirit of adventure. I like that. Take this with you. Dowsing machine. Beautiful. There are many items lying about that are obvious. That's a dowsing machine for a while. To see if it makes a high-pitched noise. When it does, you know there's an item near you. Walking as you use it may make it easy to find items. Oh yeah, I heard there are items in every burn tower. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to read the story of this place. The history of this place. Whatever. Okay. Wait. Damn it. So. Wait, no. Where's the shop? Good evening! I have a package for you from your mom. Here you go. Repel. Seriously, mom? Havan berries. Okay. Super potion. That's better, I suppose. If you just a revived Pokemon that has made it will wake right up. Okay. We got mom's items, so now we can leave. Now, there was a hidden item that I had not been able to find in the, the back place. So let's go check it out. Oh. 
here and How does this work? Like, there's supposed to be an item here, but... Mm, okay. Let's try out here, because there's also supposed to be an item here, so... No. Hello, Vulpix! Okay. Topaz, you're up. Uh, from the way... Will it die to a thunder shock? Probably. Let's try just in case. Wait, what is it doing? Oh, is it because it used the quick clock? No! Right, it has raw. Okay. That makes sense, I guess. How does this work? I do not understand. Well, never mind. We'll try in the next area, I suppose. God damn it. Hello, Dito. So Hi Noobs, how would you would you do something for me and take this Eevee? That's just random. It came over when I was adjusting Nintendo Wi-Fi connection. So I'm gonna take care of it, but I don't like being outside. Can I come with you to play with it, noobs? Yes! I need you to come through, you're the real deal. Way to go, I'm counting on you. Okay, that's too much. Boom! We got an Eevee. Get a nickname. Yes. You, Eevee, are to inherit the name of an amazing Pokémon. Thou shalt carry on their legacy. Thou shalt be named Ruby, and thou shalt be amazing. Professor Lam said Eevee can evolve into seven different kinds of Pokémon. Wow. So, uh, Alaris, I need your bell. Ruby, you can have the bell. Why are you giving me the phone number of your brother without his permission? That's a terrible thing to do.
Ruby's poking at garbage. Wow, okay. So there's garbage in here. Fantastic. Yes. Let's spruce up Ruby. That's going to take a while. But it's fine. We're fine. Mostly. Uh. Okay. Summary. Speaking of. Adaptability. Power sub moves of the same type. That's pretty amazing, I suppose. Helping hand. Boosts the power of the ally's ability in a double battle. Nice attack. Nice. Evie, you beautiful creature. Okay, so we got that. Was there a way to check friendship in this game? I think I need... So to get Espeon, I think I need to level up during the day while at max happiness, I think. But how do I check happiness is the question. Then I want to do something else here. Um, I don't think so. What's the map? Oh, during 8 till 17. So 5 to 6, for example, won't make it uh, evolve. That's interesting, I suppose. Mm. Yeah, the problem is that it doesn't say... I, I can't find anything. So, uh, Soul Silver get Espeon. How to get all of the evolutions in Pokemon Heart Gold? Okay, part one, getting seven Eevees, the one from uh, Beal, uh, yeah, we don't want six Eevees, so whatever, Clarion, Vaporeon, Get a high friendship with your EV. After having a full friendship meter and leveling during the day, EV will go into Espion. And Umbreon, high friendship after having full friendship meter and leveling during the night, EV will go into Umbreon. Uh, Talking to the woman in Goldenrod City, north of the bike shop. She says it looks really happy, it must love you a lot, he is ready to level. Yeah, 
yeah it does seem like it needs max and level has nothing to do with it according to this anyway it might be wrong though. How are you doing? This is Elise. Listen, listen. I was listening to the radio and the ruins of Falcon and all for us, so it cut in on the regular show. I don't know what it was, so strange. Okay, sure. Whatever. No, wait. I don't want to talk. Hi, noobs. Working hard. Um, do you want to keep on saving? Yes, yeah, save some money. Okay. Uh, so. So this woman um, You treat your Pokemon nicely, they will love you in return. Let me see your Pokemon, you should treat it better, it's not used to you. Okay, yeah, so we are just starting. I mean I could cheat and use the safe editor, but as I said, I don't want to abuse the system. Getting the nature is fine, getting a shiny is fine. But cheating the friendship matter? Yeah. Now the problem is that I have now to train, so according to this being in the national park increases friendship? How does that even work? How to raise friendship level in generation in Pokemon games? Generation 4. Play in generation 4. Walk 128 steps. This has a 50% chance of raising your entire party's friendship by one. Wow, okay. 50% chance. Um Give it a massage. Not in this game. The haircut salon. Yeah, that we can do that. Leveling up in battle raises the friendship level. So there's that. So we do kind of want to make him level up then, I suppose. At least a few times, I guess. You can just run up and down with one item, I don't know. Yeah, I have the bell. I, I don't exactly know how the bell works. I know it increases friendship, he has it. But yeah, the Sooth Bell. I just don't know exactly how it works, is the thing. Um, but I do have it. Let me Google that up. So, Sooth Bell. Um, how does it work? An item to be held. When this item is held by a Pokemon, the happiness earned by the Pokemon is double. I mean, sure. But it's the same problem. So I want to go like 7,000 blocks, damn, away from my base, but which direction? North, south, east, west. Ah, uh, 7,000. If you're going to go that big, um, okay, stupid question. I know Minecraft has a limit if you are going down, because eventually you hit uh, Mother Rock, but was there a limit when you um go to the sides horizontally you do not want to reach the end of the map basically so three million blocks okay so then you may want to make sure that you have enough blocks it would be a shame if you start going east and all of a sudden you learn that you only have 3000 blocks 
if it even exists. Yeah, that's a fair point. Maybe it doesn't, but... Would use a little trick. That's what I'm talking about. Little tricks are awesome. Okay, so we actually found the full heal without needing the stupid item dousing machine. How does that even work? Oh, I suppose... Oh! So I'm supposed to check... Oh, so like that. Okay, okay, okay. That, that makes sense, I guess. I will go... 875 or so blocks in the nether. That is like 7,000 blocks. That's one way of doing it. So I say... South. It's always nice going south. It's almost like going downwards. Not just kidding. North is more fun. that I what now what okay so it actually is in it actually was in the tree okay but then let's go down there was another item that was supposed to be on a tree let's go find that one which direction right um, I was saying that I always liked going south, because it's like going downwards. Just kidding, that's a movie reference, obviously. Uh, I personally, I like north. I don't know why. Yeah, the south was just a movie reference. Come on, you, you need to know that one. Um, so I will go east. Fantastic. <laughs> that works. Yeah, so there was an item. Close to this kit. Yeah. Nice. So this this is how it works. Oh, okay. That's interesting. That's amazing. Did I find the other one in the Ilex forest? Let's go check it out. Since, you know, we have to talk anyway. Well, walk anyway. Hello, Dito. Um... Oh. Oh, yeah. Damn it, paralysis. Hello, drowsy. Just not sure how to check if I go east or not in the net. Um, what version are you playing? Because you can, you should be able to access the uh, the console command or the command console, or whatever you call it, and you could use that to check. Level up! And another level up. Yeah, let's save the game. That should be six... Uh, friendship, I suppose?
Alex Forest. Now, there was an item here that I couldn't quite find. I think I did find it eventually, so... Hello, Zubak! I think I did find it eventually. Yep, I found it, so never mind. Uh, Crimson, you're up. Abra. Teleport. Well, that's too bad. What about? Let's go crazy. What do you have to say about my Ruby now? Not used to you, fantastic. half past 11 it is a bit early but we kind of want ruby to evolve before the next gym also he needs to catch up badly so i'm thinking that we're going to save the game and we're going to end up here for today and then during the week i will raise the friendship meter uh, so that next week we are ready for that. Yeah, I think that's what uh, we're going to do. Yep, so this is going to be it for tonight in Pokemon. But wait, there's more because actually uh, I'm going to shut down the stream. But in just 10 minutes or so, I'll be back and we'll do some Minion Masters and Magic the Gathering. Because, well, because why not, mostly, uh, you know, insomnia, so yeah. But I need to shut down the stream so that I can stop the recording and that stuff. 
So, well, again, thank you all for joining. Skiller, thanks for keeping me company. I will be back in just a few minutes. Um, hope I'll see everyone around. Otherwise, have a great rest of the Sunday. Good night. And a fantastic Monday. Although, you know, it's Monday, so it really can't be fantastic. But anyway, that's material for different streams. So, take care. And remember, never stop trying. Because we never stop learning.